Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Boring Land. Oh, just kidding. On. Blasphemer. Oh, Hello, my. Boring Review Nation. <laughs> we know all things. All right, welcome back to Boring Reviews. Boring Land. Nick here with the great hat. Gabe, aka Gabe Gaitone Day, aka Gabe the Plant Waterer, aka Gabe the Night Watchman. And for those of you guys that don't know those references, that means you haven't checked out our other channel, Ugh. Quick for Americans. Come on, people. <laughs> Anyways, we got Gabe in the house, get and Nick today. Let the people know what we're gonna be reacting to. All right, so we are checking out a trailer for a film called Kaithi. Kaithi. I know I butchered that one. This is a request from Avinash Kumar back in February. Yes, we do remember requests. It just takes us a while to get there sometimes. But this is a film that came out. The trailer just came out last year, not even a year ago. So that's pretty cool. A little current here. This uh, has Lokesh K in it, Sam C S S R Prabhu. And the trailer says it's in 4K, which is awesome. This is a movie that we know absolutely nothing about, which is okay sometimes. Um, Gabe, what, what are your thoughts about just the title? I mean, my first thought is February. Eh, that's not too far away. My wife's still waiting for me to clean the garage, and she asked me to do it last year. I have Christmas lights hanging up for the love of Pete, okay? That was supposed to come down in January. It is what it is, okay? Well, we get to it when we can, all right? All jokes aside, we got tons of requests. Like I said, CFA is also blowing up. We're doing a lot of cricket, so we're doing the best we can, trying to get everything, everything we can. But I'm excited. I'm excited. Haven't seen a film or reacted to a film in a while. We're uh, trying to decide what's going to be our next film to watch and react to. But, uh, yeah, let's check it out. I don't recognize any of the actors. I know um, – you're better with names than I am. Location. <laughs> Not <can> even. <laughs> Not even. That's like if I was in 499th place, you're in 500th place. That's how barely better I am. Hey, man. One place is one place, right? <laughs> <laughs> true, true. Uh, well, without any further ado, let's check out this video in three, two, one. 900. Oof. I like the feel already. I don't know what crows is, but it's close to it's close similar to like hundred thousands, I think, maybe millions. It's a lot of money. Interesting. The song is in English. Dude, look at this. It's like they're all chasing. This reminds Ooh. me of Jolly Katu. I like a... that shot. That's a really good shot. It's amazing shots. Na, police car na kukun mala. என்ன <laughs> <laughs> Epic. Yo. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for that scene. Oh. That was cool. Yarame na paaka varamaatangalum thonudu. That looked epic. 
that I mean, that guy is just like, you know, I was in jail for 10 years. You don't know what to do before that. And he just gets out like a boss. I mean, that is one of the scenes that I just get so excited to see, even though it seems so um, unrealistic. One guy on like 30 guys. I mean, come on. There's a shot actually from The Dark Knight Rises where Catwoman and Batman are fighting Bane's goons where in they didn't fix this in the editing. But this guy falls down and Batman doesn't even swing at him, right? I mean, that's just how unbelievable it is. It happens in movies with the choreography, but it still it gets me excited every time I see something like that in a movie or in a show. I can't wait to see this guy take on all these people. Uh, it was so cool where he was fixing his uh, I don't I don't know what the, the outfit's called, but he's fixing the sheet there as he's going to go out and be a boss on these guys. He's going for the kicks. At least we didn't see any drop kicks, right? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't seem like that that bad a choreography. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, you know, uh, Throwback Thursday, sometimes we'll do some older Indian films and, as well as older American films. And the fight choreography has come such a long way because some of the movies from the 70s and 80s, man, those that choreography was horrible, atrocious. But with that being said, <laughs> with that being said, you know what's funny? I mentioned it before, you know, I have a lot of family in law enforcement, right? My uncle, my cousins, and you don't really think about that aspect of it. But just to give you an idea, my uncle, who is a um, narcotics, he's actually the head of his precinct out there, lives in Jersey. OK, he commutes like an hour and change every day, you know what I mean, to come to the city because he's like, bro, I don't want to live in the same place, you know, with, with the criminals I'm locking up. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to run into, you know, Pablo or whoever I locked up, well, you know what I mean, for at Walmart. And, and that's just real. You know what I'm saying? You have to think like a lot of times especially these bigger criminal organizations, it's not, you can lock one dude up. It's not just one dude. And for the most part, they understand it's part of the game, but you take a, out 900 kilos, you, you piss somebody off. Trust me. That's a, that, that, that's not your local, you know, a, a nickel and dimer on the corner. That guy's somebody. All right. You upset somebody. That's why it's such a big thing with, you know, revealing national secrets. I mean, you Edward Snowden got killed for it because you give up certain information where people live, their addresses, and there's people that hold grudges. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I may be locked up, but I got friends out there. I got kids. The organization doesn't die. Listen, the mob didn't die with Gotti, all right? Cousin, they're still out there in New York. It's real. Organized crime is going to be around for a very long time because that's just a part of 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 life, you know what I mean? When people have vices, there's going to be people that are going to fulfill those vices, and that's where you have that organized crime element. And it exists in every single country, you know what I'm saying? You take out a little local dealer or anything like that, you're you're good, you're good. But you take out a real boss, you got a problem, okay? Uh, you know that the guy that played, um, his name is Joe Pistone, the guy in the movie Donnie Brasco, right? He had literally a contract out on his life for over a decade. They had to move this guy and his family around. You talk to him and he says how it affected his relationship with his wife. And you know what I'm saying? Because now she can't even talk to any of her family members. Forget about normalcy. Forget yeah, about regular cool. life. And he said, if I had to do it again, I wouldn't do it. Because I didn't realize how... Uh, uh, how entrenched the, the the mafia, the mob was is it was in this entire country. So no matter where we go, we could no longer be. I forget his wife's name, and his name was uh, Joe Pistone. We couldn't be those people. We couldn't contact or communicate or associate with any of our fr former friends and family. When you take on a big a case that big, you know what I'm saying. So you forget about that aspect. Like what happens? This guy here, man, you're a cop, and you 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 took 900 kilos. You got problems, cousin, right? Oh, man. You know, you talk about organized crime, and I just can't help think about tongue in cheek. Is the Knicks ownership group is that organized crime? <laughs> <laughs> it feels like it because they do what they want, and they even tell us, like, look, we don't care. This this is all you need to wait, know. Wait, 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 wait. Nick Rant starting now. This is all <laughs> you need to know. Their most famous and a uh, 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 loyal. Fan just got banned from the garden because he badmouthed James Dolan. Spike Lee got kicked out of the garden. He helped and make the how much payment. does he spend each year on his tickets? Insane. It's like $1.2 million. He actually went on ESPN and said, man, I'm upset that my wife even knows what I spent on these now or whatever. <laughs> and how long I've been doing it because he's a season ticket holder for life. It's ridiculous. It's 
it, when you have that product, okay, and the, the Knicks have cornered the market, all right, yeah, Brooklyn Nets aren't, nobody believes in the Brooklyn Nets, all right, they're a Jersey team, get out of here, cousin, no real New Yorker, unless you live in Brooklyn, is rocking the Brooklyn Nets hat, that's just real, the reality is, the Knicks are, are New York basketball, it's the mecca, and they know they have it cornered, bro, check the ticket sales every single season, that place is sold out, and we can't even get into the playoffs, bro. It's it's sad. Oh, oh gosh, I the Knicks. What are you doing to me? I I, I was just gonna say I don't know what I was thinking. I just couldn't <laughs> help it. Going back to this film, movie looks super interesting. It definitely looks entertaining. It's got a little thriller aspects. Got a whole bunch of action. Let us know if you've seen it. What you think about it in the comment section without any spoilers. Our audience is super awesome and always never giving us spoilers, so we appreciate that. Let us know what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new to our channel and you want us to react to more. We already have about seven or eight different reactions. We have about three or four different reviews on different films in the industry. Go ahead and check that out. But until next time. We know all things.